God, we worship you, Father, because you are our good God. Thank you, Almighty God. We said we shall call unto you, all ye that are labor. Holy Spirit, Lord, we have come here today with multiple multitude of our requests. We pray that you will answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. End of this prayer section, we will be very blessed. Amen. Amen. Father, because we believe it to the door. And thank Jesus, you, Father. Um, we pray. Amen. This uh this afternoon we want to pray, and our focus of prayer is on power against riches. Power against wealth and power against honor. Power against riches, wealth, and honor. The plan of God for you and I is to be rich, wealthy, and a man and woman of great honor. But once any of this is being tampered with, you will understand that. This is the handwriting of the devil. And so, uh, tonight, we have come to evaluate and ask ourselves, is this where God wants me to be? Once it is no, then you are welcome to this prayer platform because after today's prayer, your experience will change for the better. Amen. Was expecting amen. a dangerous amen. Amen. In the amen. book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 6, verse 2. Ecclesiastes, chapter 6, verse 2. A man to whom God has given riches, wealth, and honor, so that he wanted nothing for his soul, or for that he desired. Yet God giveth him not power to eat thereof, but a stranger eateth it. This is vanity, and it is an evil disease. I will read it again, and I will point out something to you, and um, make you understand what we want to pray on today. A man to whom God had given riches, had given wealth, and had given honor, so that he wanted nothing for his soul. Of all that he desired, yet God giveth him not power to eat thereof. Yet God giveth him not power to eat thereof. That's where I want to point out to you. Yet God giveth him not power to eat thereof. The point is this. Bible says, I know the thoughts I have towards you. They are the thoughts of peace. They are not the thoughts of evil. So that it will bring you an expected end. So everything God uh, creates and his purpose for man is that we live in good health and, and we live a triumphant life. Now, it, it, uh, uh, from this B part that says, Yes, God giveth him not power to eat thereof. The point is, when uh, we entertain sin, our God is a jealous God. And if God giveth you riches, giveth you all that, but there is something you place above him. There is something you give your time to. If you want to look at somebody from morning to night, some people do not even have time for God at all. Some people will barely do uh, their morning prayer. Some people find it hard to do night prayer because they will have been tired. Some people find it hard to read their Bible. And some people find it hard to even fast. I want to talk of giving God one hour in a day or two or three or more. You want to see people that want to give themselves to fasting. These are not in that category. And so when the devil looks at it, that it looks like this is a general pasture for me to hide. It, it looks like this is a basement for transaction of evil. And so the enemy will come and, and begin to perch. Once they begin to perch, and they were able to get that person, tuck it in 
into the uh, uh, into the agenda, then you begin to see that the ability to have riches, ability to have wealth, ability to have honor is not even there at all. May I quickly explain to you about Jabez? Jabez is a man that should demonstrate with riches, wealth, and honor. Yes, Jabez is honorable. What is the content for honorability? You don't have money, you say you are a person of honor. I cannot run to you and say, please, can you help me out of this? You say, ah, no. The ability is not there. The, the, the container to carry it is lacking. And so, so a lot of things was happening to Jabez. Now, Jabez now asked himself, what is this site all about? Yeah, people looked at me with high esteem, but, but the, the container that carries that thing is not even there. Riches, not there. Wealth, not there. What is the definition for hon being honorable? And so it went before the Lord, my testimony must change. It went before the Lord, not like yesterday. It went before the Lord because he needed a change. And one thing about Jabez is that he knows his God. Bible says, they that know their God, they shall be strong and do exploit. Jabez will have gone to look for a, a, a shortcut, easy way out. They want to do uh, all these things that people do to, to generate money for them. Clean or unclean, they want to crook and means anything it is just to make sure they have money. But Jabez cannot do that because they understand that my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And we want to knock the way Jabez knocked. We want to gain access the way Jabez gained access. We want story to change like the life of Jabez changed. And tonight, the Lord will change your story to the better. If you have said amen, amen then say it loud amen. amen. I want us to bow down our head for prayers. I want you to, you know, a kind of prayer like this, you will see people, they will pray, and some people will have uh, testimony. In fact, before the end of that day, the idea to share testimony with you. Why some people are there? They will, tell, they will be telling themselves, I've attended this one before. I've joined this one before. I've joined that one before. Is it the prayer I will pray today that God will answer? And so you see some people, God is transferring them. And then you see some people, their result is like always. But I want you to just be resolute tonight. I want you to, to, to be seen tonight. I want you to be desperate for a change. And God will answer that prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever we hear my prayer, Lord, today, take it away from me. Whatever we discuss me today, take it away from me. I pray that my head be forced to be true. Take it away from me. And I pray and I ask this very hour in the name of Jesus. Take it away from me. That we hinder my prayers. Take it away from me. In your love, in your power. I want you to pray tonight. God, I'm not never fail. My prayers will be. Answers, prayer, you never fail. I believe it is done. Lord, do it at Jacob's glory. I never fail in his promise. I surrender. Oh, I know you are going to meet today. You are always faithful. God bless you. I surrender all of you. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, we answer me. My God, we answer me. Jesus, we answer me. In the name of Jesus, somebody open your mouth and pray. Mm. Thank you. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The plan of God for you is not to borrow. God is not happy when his people is borrowing. Now, I understand the fact of uh, some people that they will just be there and they will just hold their, their hand. And they are expecting manna to fall from heaven. We don't have the category. I don't think we have that category of people here. Because if we have that, those categories of people here, if you pray from now till eternity, God will not answer that prayer. Because God himself is not a, a lazy person. He's not a jobless person. Uh, and so he, he, he is not looking for somebody that will just hold the sign and say, ah, before I finish prayer now, somebody is going to knock at my door. Uh -uh, it's not that God like that. As, as a matter of fact, there are no lazy people in the kingdom. You say you are a Christian, look at the time of prayer. Look, if you are a real Christian, you can't be sleeping all the night. You call yourself a Christian. You don't have that luxury of time to sleep all day in the night. Bible says men ought always to pray and not to faint. And so if you are a Christian, real Christian, that God knows that this is a Christian, that kind of person can never be a lazy person. And so we're not talking about indolent person. We're not talking about a, 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 a lazy person. But what we are talking about today is that you will see people, they have what to do. They know what to do. Ability to do it is not there. The labor, they put in their money. They put it into it. They carry all their capital. And they invest. But yes, oh, the God. thing is coming oh, out. God. I tell you that any means is God. at work. You are going to open your mouth and pray. Every enemy against my riches. Every power that is working against riches in my life. I command the judgment of God to begin to fall upon them. Open your mouth and pray. Amen. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I present myself before you. Every power behind you, which, which every power against which is in my life. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is against you. The Lord is against you. In the name of Jesus, who oh God changed my story? Who oh God changed my story? Change my story. Who oh changed my story? Who oh God changed my story? In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus, change my story, oh God. Oh Lord, I pray my every power has oh God, my wife. against riches in my life. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Stop me from being rich. That stop me from having good knowledge of how to make well. In the mighty name of the Lord, let the judgment of the Lord might go upon them with fire to consume them. In the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, O my Father, my God, who serve the enemy, O my Father, O my God, 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 O my what any middle have your way, have mercy, and destroy every water of the Amen. 
Uh, when you talk of riches, the spirit attached to uh, attached to riches that works against riches is the spirit of poverty. And now look at it. There are some lineage that the demon activated in that place are demons of poverty. You know, as it is in different cadres. There are some lineage, it is uh, a spirit of death that besieges that place. Some people, it's a, 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 a spirit of sickness, diverse ailments. You have cancer, you have of incredible sicknesses, different, different like that. But the one we are attacking today, everything together, but one major one is that spirit of poverty. You are going to pray and tell the Lord, every spirit of poverty that is working against your lineage. Huh? They say, if you even make $1 million today, you are still coming to zero level. If you get to the highest point today, you are still coming to zero level. You are going to pray. The spirit of poverty, every spirit of poverty that is assigned to your generation, let that spirit be destroyed now. Let that spirit be committed. Amen. My Father and my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come to call you. I command every spirit that is assigned to cause trouble in my generation to drop it. Be destroyed. Drop it. 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 Thank you. 
Have a God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. O Lord, you say you are the Lord of the earth. You send your word and you put it all away. You prefer that system so that it is not possible for you. I trust that you have to be away from your government. They should be divine intervention. All the wind shall stand in the air. The, the, the blood of Jesus, the strap of Jesus, healing me recklessly. We pray for that nephew, oh God, oh God, as that nephew, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Lord, we thank you for this, this uh, section of prayer. Thank you, Lord, because you answer us anytime we call. Holy Lord of heaven, we have come before you, Lord, with our multitude of requests. We come to pray against spirit of poverty. We have come to, come, uh, uh, to pray against demons that squander our resources. Lord, we pray that the power of the heavenly we eradicate them from our territory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Spirit of poverty, we command you to expire. Amen. Spirit of sickness, we command you to expire. Amen. Every work of the devil, every activity of the enemy, we command you to stop right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus, for everyone Amen. that are in the state of confusion, Holy Spirit brings illumination. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You provide Amen. for them, they will pay their debt, they will have more than enough. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray against, we pray against Amen. spirit of accident. We pray against spirit of bloodbath. It shall not be heard in our platform. It shall not be heard uh, in, uh, among us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, secure Amen. us by your power and by your blood. Amen. Give us testimony in making progress. Give us Amen. In our ministry. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit, because we have answered our prayers. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Then say a louder amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, Hallelujah. Is on. Uh, does he have anything to say? I saw Pastor Liz is hand on the computer. Okay. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. If there is nothing, uh, I've been seeing one pastor. I wish they can introduce himself to us. Uh, he briefly tested me yesterday, and then it's like, uh, Pastor God, uh, I'm very sorry if I did not pronounce it very well. But pastor Bart, are you, are you hearing me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Please, uh, can you introduce yourself? Talk to my pastor a little bit, and then I know them. They will take it off. <laughs> okay, uh, sure, sure. <laughs> um, um, my name is um, Kojo Dasenu. Um, I'm from Benin. I'm from Kostonu, but um, I was a missionary in in China, and now I'm uh, in the U.S. in Pennsylvania. Um, I've been following your ministry for like two months now. <laughs> and um, now that I'm in Pennsylvania, my dream is um, uh, to join your ministry. <laughs> so that's how I got your number and contacted you. Okay. Yes. Uh, thank you. I'm so uh, touched and impressed when I saw your message. Yes. I pray that the grace of the Lord will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, by the grace of the Lord, the mm -hmm. ministry just carried my name. The <laughs> people who are there is yeah. those people you had is first now. That's Pastor Dagbo. And okay. then we have Pastor Ali. Uh, I think I've not seen him online today. We have Pastor Peter 
then we have Pastor Mike. Um, these two people, Pastor Mike and Pastor Dako, I always get lots of them. So you see that Pastor Shegon and all that, they are my father. We started it together. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we lost this Pastor Mike and Pastor Dako. It's like, I want to change my age, if possible. But God will not allow it. So I uh, set my destiny. Please, hello, sir. <laughs> so, uh, please, can I ask a question, sir? Uh, hello, sir. Can I, can I ask a question? Yes, sir. That's mm -hmm. Pastor Femi Abi, Abi Pastor Ali. Okay, continue. Yes, our pastor that just joined us. You are from which denomination, sir? Oh, well, um, I was Church of Christ. Um, but uh, later when I began to seek the Lord, <laughs> I, I saw that, you know, the, the teaching was not biblical, you know, so um, I, right now in the U.S. here, my wife is uh, Mennonite, so we are serving with the Mennonite right now. Yeah, we do. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. Uh, one, the first thing is that by the grace of the Lord, as you said, I will be expecting you in Charlotte Tree. Okay. That. okay. That's number one. Number yeah. two, we have church in Pennsylvania or whatsoever. Pennsylvania, yeah. Yes, we have state pastor. We uh, we would like to introduce you to them. On sure. personal basis, uh, we want you to visit Jalotri. On the church basis, I uh, will introduce you to uh, our state pastor there by the okay. grace of God. Uh -huh. Thank you On so much. On the ministry yeah. basis, yeah, Please continue to join us. Okay, we continue sure. to enjoy us. And Thank then, you. if you, uh, I'm not promise of money. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, <laughs> I want to say something. So I go yes. play a script by <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> okay. Don't mind me. Is there any other thing you need by the grace of the Lord? Uh, yeah. All our pastor and by the grace of the Lord, my your humble servant is here. We are there for you. As, uh, but the, the grace of the Lord will be sufficient for us in Jesus. Go on on Sunday, uh, on Sunday by the gathering, all those meetings just for the pastors. They said okay. that we have some people that join us from outside. Uh, we but basically it's for the pastors, so we able okay. to uh, to speak more. But the relationship have started, the friendship have started. Almighty God that lift you up will not leave you alone in Jesus. He has brought you. But the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Moses made sure that he doesn't come back. That yeah, I will not go except your promise, except your presence to me. The presence of the Lord will continue to follow you in Jesus' name. You will not cry. Any audio will become testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, that place your head up and will not let you go down. The mighty hand of the Lord will continue to follow you. The Almighty Amen. Father will anoint you. He will lay his hand Amen. upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will not do mistake. You Amen. will not mistake by taking a different step except the God will on your life in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Jesus Christ, more flowing of anointing will fall upon you in Jesus' name, including the Amen. house, including the, uh, the uh, all the pastors. Let us pray for our pastor that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the grace of the Lord will continue to be upon him. The pastor, the pastor that, but please let us pray for him. I see all our brother I can see CP. I see my child, daughter, friend. Let us pray for him. Let I want you to pray for him. As if you are asking for something personally from Almighty God. Go, you will go from strength to strength. Whatever spirit is calling you, I pray that your mind is telling you about him now. I want to hear your voice. Let him show love. Show love to him. Show acceptance love. Let him know that in his deeper life we have you. Let God upon the name of the Lord on his behalf. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, he has called. He has seen our ministry. And he has moved. He really jealous about it. He has joined you and the Lord will call upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy let him call on you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I can see Pastor Joe, our brother Charlie, and champion, and brother, supporting us financially. 
I'm not skipping my mouth. That is the, 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 the sickness of marriage. Then it's not uh, uh, that we are doing one thing or I'm trying to do anything or exaggerate. It's there in the computer, it's there everywhere. 85% of the people who are in the United States, they are divorced. Then you see maybe 5% struggling on their, their, on their marriage. Maybe the 10%, they are the ones that have strong marriage. Ah, uh, devil have seen this. And in many areas, it attacked the pastors on each. But you know why? Pastor, your your this particular person, your spouse is misbehaving, divorce. It's very difficult for the pastor to divorce. You know why? Your pa your your spouse is doing this. Why can't you ask another somebody somebody somewhere to be supporting you in the ministry? It's very difficult for pastor to have to have uh, to have Ah, two wives. You know why? How can you manage it? with the flesh, with everything? How are you managing? The people of the world will not be looking at you. That if you are not compromising, how are you managing to keep yourself with the situation that is within you and your spouse? It's very difficult. You will not. You are not going to be there in Jesus' name. We call upon the name of the Lord. The wind of marriage, the wind of divorce. The wind of uh, in, 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 insanity that is the marriage in the United States will not affect our brother, will not affect his wife in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's open our mouth, let's call upon the name of the Lord. Father, we are going to your mouth. Oh, you are my brother. Be not brother into your mighty and your presence. Uh, uh, I saw you, I see you online. Uh, many of you that we are not in America, I saw you know what I'm saying. Rafa, you are in Jackson, you know what I'm saying. Let's call upon the name of the Lord for the, his family. The body of God that follows the Lord and he has entered United States. He brings his family unto the Lord. By the power and the power of Jesus Christ, there will not be salvation. By the power and the power of Jesus Christ, there will not be salvation. Let's put the wife in the hand of the Lord. The Almighty God is going to put her in the name of Jesus Christ. When it is sweet, when it is good, when, when it is good, when it is bad. When it is sweet, when it is sweet, it is sweet. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the power of God, I can't hear you praying. I can't hear you praying. This is low. This is low. I do not have any soul in my mouth. You can preach. I want you to pray with all your mind. All your mind. This is all for this our family. That by the power and the power of God, we support you. 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 This is very difficult without money. Yes, God can show you the way that this is what I want you to do. Uh, 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 let me proud a little bit. Let me proud a little bit. If I'm proud, you know it's God that is it's, it's God that is I'm talking about, not me. I just want to say I, I, there will be some area whereby God will just say, okay, go in this way. Like somebody like me, you know, I can't speak English. But when God wants to do it, He put this online in my care. I know Pastor that for we have never seen for for I, I, I've never seen I've never seen him. If, if you see me and Pastor Ali talking like this, we not believe that one day we have never seen like this. Talk about Pastor, Pastor, uh, uh, Pastor Mike. Talk about any of our pastors. We have never seen individually like this. 
Why? Because God don't know my weakness. You know, I can't speak English. I don't, I don't, I can't write. I can't do anything. But just, okay, I love you this month, and I will use you. And he use all through this. And he bring all these people to surround me. That, okay, I know your weakness. You can't do anything. But I will provide people that will help you, that will elevate your head. We call upon the name of the Lord. For this, our pastor, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, in any area of his feet, either a poopy pastor, it was somebody that called me from, uh, I think it was from Philadelphia or something like that. He was telling me that uh, this is, uh, you are, they are somebody that are not uh, poopy pastor. I don't know. Whatsoever is going to be poopy pastor, it's going to be whatsoever God wants to use him for. That by the power and the blood of all, all hands that we raise the head up. God will send them to him in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's also open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon him. May be financially, he may be physically, he may be whatsoever. How God wants to do it, he cannot do it alone. He cannot do it alone. But those people who God is going to use for his progress to come to him. Amen. But do not depend, do not think about this. Because even your boy, you see that he's talking, he's struggling. So please don't, 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 uh, don't misquote me. I just want to, please don't misquote me. Sir. So I just want to put something there. But when God need money, you know what he did? And then, you know, you have, if you go come to our church here, that's what I'm talking, you will be surprised. Some of our pastors come to say, even we that we are calling ourselves church, what you have, you are using to operate in, in, here in Charlotte, you do not have it. And I'm telling you, I'm not deceiving you. I'm saying today, I'm inside the church. I'm the only tight payer in my church. I'm the only tight payer in my church. You may see everything that is happening is by the grace of the Lord. But when God said this is by assignment for you, nothing can block it, nothing can stop it. We will call upon the name of the Lord for our brother, for our pastor, for our daddy, whatsoever. I put you in the hand of the Lord. That God will open way for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Financially, materially, anything you need for above, for kingdom of God, heaven will open for you and you will enjoy the plenty of the Lord in Jesus' name. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon the Lord. Father, we have prayed and maxing for this Abdullah pastor. That by the Lord, the power of the Lord, you need financial money. You need that day. You need that day. You need that day. You need that day. You need that and bring money. And by your name, God will provide money for them. To do all what they need to do. But I pray by the power of the blood to complete this our pastor in the name of Jesus Christ. Your grace will be upon you. Financially, financially, economically, physically, all what you need to succeed in this ministry, God is going to be to you in the name of Jesus Christ. And the name of the Lord is going to be glorified. For shall it be. Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, we, we thank you for the time of prayer. Thank you for our pastor that you are ready to uh, open his eyes the more and you are ready to settle him in all ramifications of life. Lord, I pray for him that his ministry will be fulfilled. Amen. Amen. Someone send on the platform that we should pray for him. That's why he's raising up his hand. That we should pray for him that uh, the devil will not succeed over his health. Lord, I pray. Give him healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone represented in this place meet our needs in Jesus' name. Amen. We will not do focus in Jesus' name. Amen. We will not have a hand over our Amen. life in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
Lord, because we know Amen. it will be done. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, um, the pastor, uh, what is his name if I will ask? Pastor Bart. Pastor Bass, yes, okay, please. Bass, okay. Yes. Yes, Bass. Okay, yes. Bass. Okay, Bass. Pastor Bass. All right, please. Uh, I will need your contacts so okay. I can have you in some of our, our platform. This is Pastor okay. Ali Victor. Okay, send okay. your send your contact to Pastor Matthew so you know how to forward okay. the contact to me. Also, okay, by, by tomorrow, by tomorrow, uh, Sunday, we'll be meeting in online prayer meeting. You okay. Understand? So if the time is quite different in United States, Pastor Matthew will tell you the time, but in Nigeria it's 9, 9 a.m. So please, all our pastors in the platform, let this is media now to please speak to everyone of us. All our pastors in the platform, please tomorrow, those officiating, those not officiating, let's all be on the platform. And if you are online to this, uh, this morning or this afternoon, you want to join us for the pastor prayer meeting tomorrow, you are welcome. So thank you so much. We're so grateful that you are with us today. God bless you all. Mm. Bless you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sir. God bless mm. all my daddies. God bless you all my moments. God bless you. Thank you very much. Mm. Thank you. Let's share the grace together. In the grace of the Lord. In the love of God. In the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forever. Amen. Amen. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Uh, mommy champion. Yes, Pastor. Don't mind me. I can't call your name very well. Come <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, sir. Please, if I want to ask. I need her, we need her on, 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 on Thursday prayer meeting. I've not been seeing her online on Thursday. So I'm challenging you now, mommy, champion. Yes. Okay, please get connected on Thursday. This is Pastor Ali. Get okay, connected Pastor. on Thursday. Do you understand? Okay. okay. My okay. Yes, I, I've been sister, working. Uh, I've been mentioning this is a Pastor Ali. I've not seen her online. Before. Yes, I have contacted her. I contacted her. It's like a, it's having some challenges. There was a time she moved out from the platform and I gave her a call. So she was saying that she changed her phone and she was giving some reason. I'm working on I'm working on that. I'm working on that. I will, I will contact I will contact her today again as well. Okay, you can send her back to I have the number, but just give me the number. Thank you. Okay. God bless you, sir. Okay. Uh, thank all right. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. In Nigeria is PM, not 9 a.m. 9 p.m. Tomorrow, tomorrow for Nigeria, yes. Uh, for United States, four. It's four o'clock. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. God bless you. Welcome. Pastor Bati, we still talk. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we expect you in Talosi. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 